Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some big team battle gameplay. The score in the background is a 27 and 0, and it's on the map Exile. Exile is most certainly one of my favourite big team battle maps. One of my biggest problems with big team battle is that sometimes it feels like the events that happen in each game can be a little bit out of your hands. For example, you could walk around a corner and a Banshee or Mantis could just take you out in one foul swoop. And, you know, there's not much you can do when a Banshee bomb is just flying towards your face. You kind of feel like a deer in the headlights and there wasn't anything you could really do to get out of that situation. And it's the same with, like, if you walk around a corner and there's six people on your radar and there's just no escape route. Um, and that's one of the things that Exile does well. I think, like, there's a fair amount of cover and there's a lot of escape routes to get out of situations. You know, you've got the underground little bits under all the boxes uh, within the middle section of the map. So I understand why a lot of people vote it. Whereas Ragnarok, on the other hand, was a map that I don't feel like they did work to balance it very well within the Halo 4 settings. Because Halo 4 can be so chaotic. You've got all these different power weapons coming in from ordinances, rocket launchers, and fuel rods on big team battle. And then you've got the Mantises, you've got the Banshee, and you've got the Sprint. And you kind of need a lot of cover and a lot of defensive... Uh, structures in order to be able to counteract that whereas they just kind of copy and pasted the map from Halo 3 and on big team battle I don't think it works very well there are so many times where I just feel like you know I'm, I'm 10 times better off camping in my base with a sniper rifle than I am going into the middle of the section of the map and just inevitably getting myself into trouble unless I have a vehicle to counteract that. And I know on big team battle the argument would be, well, you've got so many people on the team that you have a lot of firepower against the vehicles, so they shouldn't be able to spawn camp you quite as much, but that doesn't always work out that way in my opinion as far as I've encountered because the spawn traps on Ragnarok can get pretty nasty and sometimes it can almost put you in a situation where there was nothing you could do to get out of it. So today's commentary, I'm just going to be talking about a bunch of random stuff to be honest because I have no topic and I couldn't think of any topic because there's nothing to talk about regarding Halo 4. I feel like we must be like a week or so from hearing a very big piece of news. I just feel like that's what it feels like right now because they're just kind of starving us a tiny bit. I know they're giving us playlists, which is really, really cool, don't get me wrong. And that's going to be good from a gameplay standpoint in terms of like uploading to YouTube because I'll have new King of the Hill gameplays to post. I'll have the new Team Snipers gameplays to post. But at the same time, something just news-wise feels like we're in a bit of a lull right now. And maybe I'm wrong, but I have a feeling we'll hear something fairly soon. And I know one of the coolest things is they said they were going to um, patch the weapons in the new title update, I believe, next time. They're going to be doing some sort of like semi-title update and patching a couple of weapons here and there. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to, to be honest, because there's a couple of weapons here and there that have been getting on my nerves recently, uh, such as the Scattershot's weakness. The Scattershot's weakness is just unfair. Like, it is an inconsistent weapon. It does not perform as well as it should be. The shotgun is a bit of a beast, and I really hope they don't nerf that to counteract the scatter shot. It's like, no, no, I love the fact that the shotgun's powerful. It really gives you a nice advantage and just something to enjoy whilst you're playing on the game. Um, and, you know, I just, I really, really hope they change that. Then there's the gravity hammer. The gravity hammer is a freaking joke, in my opinion, especially, like I said, the shotgun's been powered up a bit. You've got sprint with the energy sword, which works extremely well, so why on earth would you need a gravity hammer? Um, with the, you know, the negative effect of sticky grenades, gravity hammers are made even more worthless, so why are the gravity hammers so weak? I don't know how that got past testing in the first place, and especially as Griff Ball is such a big part of the, uh, the game and hammers I just feel like is a pretty popular weapon it was the only cool weapon that came out of the um the brute weaponry in my opinion the spike guns had a really nice aesthetic and design but they didn't really work in a particularly interesting way they were kind of like a needler but they didn't explode when you thought they would and they were kind of unreliable unless you were dual wielding um and then the other map well actually I'll, I'll take that back because the mauler was a bit of a badass weapon in all things considered and it was kind of a shame to see that go because just the idea of a handheld shotgun is very cool um but the the scatter shot and the gravity hammer are weapons that i feel like need to be changed because i understand them not being like absolute beast because in reach the gravity hammer was a bit of a beast to be fair but the gravity hammer seems to have so little area of effect and you kind of have to get that you know close range instant kill and it's like well I'd be better off just going for a double melee, to be honest. Like, that's almost as good. I'm still going to get in as much trouble with the gravity hammer, most likely. And uh, another thing is energy sword, I feel like, could do with a tiny bit of a range buff. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like 
uh, the energy sword has seen a lot of... There's been a lot of situations where I've just gotten into trouble, where I'm just like, how did... How that went red that should have hit and it didn't hit and I know I, I should have been close enough and on any other Halo game I would have been close enough, but then it just doesn't and it just fails and that's kind of something that gets on my nerves um, And last but not least this is gonna sound like a broken record, but this is a record that needs to be played Yeah, that was almost a cool phrase, but it wasn't really um, Is that I want sticky grenades out of this freaking game like do you know how annoying they're getting at this point like it's almost becoming a joke how much we're having to reiterate it and complain about it, but it's like, this is uh, this shouldn't be in the game. There is absolutely no way that Sticky should be starters in this game. It's the one of the worst things about Halo 4. In a game that is getting steadily and steadily better, each time a new title update comes out, each time a new playlist comes out, it gets more and more exciting and more and more enjoyable, and yet... The one, one of the main things that is holding it back, and it seems like such a simple change. And I hate this whole argument of, oh, it's built into the game, so we can't change it, you know? <laughs> and it's like, well, no, you can't make that argument anymore. You freaking change weapon damages, you change freaking everything on the map, you change the base speed of players in each game. Like, surely that's a fair bit of a big change in terms of matchmaking, and surely just taking sticky grenades out of our pocket, or at least, at the very least, giving us one sticky grenade, just doing something. I understand, like, if that's a loadout choice, and it's implemented into the menu. They seem to be very picky about their menus. If their menus have been done, then that is the final product and no menus can be changed. It's like, really? Like, if it's if it's holding back your game that much, do you not want your game to succeed? Do you not want people to not be complaining about your game 24-7? And I love Halo 4, do not get me wrong, but it's, it's holding it back so much at the moment because just the whole close-range gameplay, you know, I'm someone who just likes to get up in people's faces and I don't want to feel like I'm being punished for that. I don't want to feel like... You know, even if I play my best, that doesn't matter because he could have a sticky grenade and I wouldn't know he had a sticky grenade because it was random because it was in his loadout. And I had no jurisdiction over what was in his loadout. I had no uh, understanding. Really, 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 really getting on my nerves. And to me, to be honest, at this point in time, it's hard to me, hard for me to even think of any other problems that, about Halo 4 that are annoying me right now. Jetpack is definitely up there. Jetpack is ruining map movement. Uh, to extreme degrees and couple that with the assault rifle you know people have been complaining about the assault rifle in my parties quite a lot recently and I personally don't actually think they're that big of a problem I only think they're a problem combined with the game mechanics of Halo 4 uh, just the fact that we've got faster movement speed the fact that we've got jetpack and the fact that we got stickies mean that like once you walk into the enemy spawn it almost becomes like a minefield and that to me is such an un pleasurable experience for playing like that's just something that I don't want to be playing I don't want to feel like oh better stay away from that spawn because I'll most likely die from a sticky it's like no it's so annoying I saw someone with 50,000 kills the other day what was his primary weapon the sticky grenade of course and he's going mental with it and I know I hate people complaining as much as the next guy and I shouldn't be complaining but I am anyway I've been Modest Major thank you for watching peace out